Hello, Miles. I'm here to challenge you to a race. Blue bikes, me, versus transit, you. Between two Bostonian points of your choosing that aren't super convenient for either system, and which would result in a pretty even race. Should you accept this challenge, I'm free sometime before May 15th. Let me know if you'd be down. Caleb. Challenge accepted. Okay. Hello, uh, also vaccinated Caleb. Hello, also vaccinated Miles. Um, so we're at uh, Sacramone Park in Everett and um, we're about to race from here to Olmsted Park in Jamaica Plain. Exactly. Uh, the commuters of Boston have multiple options for crossing this excellent little city. Um, they have the T, they have the buses, and they also have the blue bike system where they can rent a rather cumbersome giant blue bike that doesn't turn all the way um, and uh, take it to any kiosk in the city. There's no single bus or single T route that goes directly from this rather obscure little park in Everett to a much bigger but still kind of obscure park in Jamaica Plain. Um, but if you have a bike, you can basically do the route directly, except there's no mm -hmm. bike rental kiosk here, so I'm still going to have to run about 10 minutes that way. Um, oh, we're running then, okay. Or walking, I don't know. Okay. I'm going to run. All right, I guess I'll run too. So while, so while Caleb is struggling on his crappy blue bike, I'll be relaxing on the crappy orange line. Nice. <laughs> and I'll have to wear a mask and he won't, so that's also a plus for, for him. So, um, we'll, uh, we'll get this started, I guess. Cool. All right, the glare is like way too much, so you can't see, but we both have our stopwatches, the official Caleb crappy stopwatch and Excuse the me. amazing official miles and transit stopwatch um should we count down from th three sure are we, are we doing it on one or on start <laughs> on go okay all right okay three two, two one. one go okay see ya, see ya. <laughs> okay so i uh definitely should not have worn a jacket with pockets that don't zip up because <laughs> now i'm running my pockets are full of stuff and Hopefully they're not going to fall out. All right, so the question is, am I going to get a bus to Wellington or a train or a walk to Wellington? Um, and, okay, this is Santilli Circle. And the stop is uh, somewhere. Kelvin Street, 273 blocks below Celsius Street. It's a science joke. <laughs> okay. Uh... No. All right. Run to Wellington. Let's do it. <laughs> Jaywalk. All right. We're coming up on Meadows Park. Here there's apparently a blue bike station. A couple of things I should have prepared for, for this race. I should have brought water. I shouldn't have worn jeans. And I should have not been terrible at anything active but uh, it's a pretty short trip we're almost at wellington already oh. okay here is our ride i'm gonna hook up the camera to the handlebars okay that did not start out very well new camera all right we're eight minutes in uh we are at wellington attention passengers the next orange line three four two that's some timing right there. Okay, I'm on the bike and off to beat Miles. On the bus, the next left side, one thousand and one. Just left Wellington. And now we're just gonna sit on this to Roxbury Crossing. Caleb's gonna have much more interesting food today. I'm just on a train for a while. Red light spells danger. Or at least Miles getting ahead of me. About 17 and a half minutes in, we're at North Station. So we made it to downtown effectively in a decently short amount of time. Um, I think it's really the, the Roxbury crossing transfer is going to be the, the big question. Like, will we be able to? get something that Olmsted Park where we have to run. So we are now at the Green Line extension. As you can see, it is still being extended. Here's my bike. Here's my jacket, because it's getting warmer. 
and I'm super dehydrated, so I might want to take a stop and get some water. 20 minutes in, uh, getting pretty busy here at State. Uh, one thing about the bike is that it's probably more COVID safe. I mean, you're just going down the street with the wind in your face. You don't even have to wear a mask, but you know, on here, it's actually quite busy. So I'm now riding along the Esplanade. Miles may be in transit, but I am miles ahead. <laughs> I can't stop thinking about how Caleb's footage is gonna be like this like crazy, like intense bike adventure. And then I'm just sitting here on a train. It's a nice view. Okay, I am now at Massachusetts Avenue and uh, currently stopped at the red light again and it's green, so I should keep going. There goes the 66. Oh man, oh, 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 oh. I very much need hydration, so we are stopping at 7-Eleven, not sponsored, to grab a quick bottle of water and hit the road again. I guess this has technically become a uh, one seat ride with a lot of walking on both ends. <laughs> the original plan was to take the 66, but the next one's nine minutes. Um, so, I figure I'll like make an effort to get there before it. I might end up, I might end up on it anyway, but uh, the 66, that's a route that needs to run more frequently. This sucks. <laughs> All right, we are now following the green line. We just got past Museum of Fine Arts and uh, we're following it to its end. That's basically the end of the race. One thing for sure, I'm glad I didn't wait for the 66 because I haven't seen anything. But we're almost there, so I guess it was a good call to, to walk. Time. Uh, 48.58. It's not going to come in focus. <laughs> Alright. 48.58. Seems like I got here first. <laughs> uh, even when the 66 screwed me, I still made it first. Transit still wins. I need to be so competitive, Miles, my gosh. Okay, here the green line curves off to the south, which means I'm actually almost there. So I've been here about uh, eight minutes. No sign of Caleb yet. Well, I think I went right past the kiosk, so I'm gonna have to double back. I might be losing minutes on this, so we'll see. Also, props to the official Miles in Transit stopwatch for surviving and not glitching out. Major props for that. Okay, bike is all locked up and it's time to run to Olmsted Park. All right, it's 10.58. Caleb said he got to Heath Street. So, uh, yeah, I've, I've, I think I've won by a lot. And I just got a text from Miles that he's at the park. Hey! Woo! Ah, we're both filming. Um, I've, uh, I've actually been here for a, a decently long time. Oh no. What's your time? <laughs> One hour, 12 minutes. I got here in 48. 48? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Is Heath Street the closest, closest bike station? Yes, it is. Oh, that's actually kind of a pain. Yes. That's kind of a pain. I'm surprised there isn't one here at the northern end of Olmsted. Because like, you would think. This is, there's a bunch look, of bike there's people with blue bikes right over there. So consumer implications. If you want to cross Boston, um, buy a bike that actually has decent speed and isn't super heavy. I was wondering if the quality of the bike was affecting your travel Yeah, time. <laughs> yeah, because I think I probably could have done faster on my own bike. Yeah. Um, but then again, you know, if you take the T, you don't have to exercise, so that's a plus. Well, I attempted, I missed my 66 by like a second, so I just like, Huge. I had to like walk really quickly here, but like I, I attempted to run and just could not. It's funny, because like if you look at the transit directions, they are slower than the bike directions. Like on Google Maps, yeah. I think it's like, seven-ish minutes slower? Something like that. So I think that it seems like blue bikes itself is maybe not suited for like long journeys like that. Right. If you were right. on the bike for a long time. Yeah, I, I would definitely say blue bikes are generally geared better towards like cruising along the Esplanade with your friends, which is actually what I did last night. Shout out to my friends if you're watching. Um, but uh, if you want to actually cross Boston, better to get a bike that actually does high speeds and is kind of lightweight. Well. Uh, Glad to join you for a race on yeah. the channel. Uh, and thanks for sending me that crazy, creepy email. Miles and Trans is not going to send him crazy, creepy emails.